Welcome to our lecture online. Our next example here, we have the format already in the correct format here for Green's theorem. We're trying to find the line integral around a complete path. The path is defined by the ellipse right here, his elliptical equation, and it looks pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and get started. We have to identify our P and our Q. So here's the P and there's the Q. Note that this is typically how you find the problem to find in your textbook. They already right away put it into the format so it's easily adaptable to Green's theorem. Keep in mind that this really represents a multiplication of a vector and the position vector or the differential of the position vector. So still keep in mind that this is really part of the line integral where we have a vector field as a function of x and y dotted with the position vector, or I should say the differential of the position vector. So they typically don't put it in this format, they typically will put it in this format. So now that you've identified P and Q, you can go ahead and start solving the right side of the equation. So what we want here is we want the partial of Q with respect to X minus the partial of P with respect to Y. So this is going to be equal to, so here's our Q, take the derivative with respect to X, that would be 2X, and of course the derivative of this, that would be a constant, goes to zero. Minus the derivative of p with respect to y. And so if y is a variable, then we get 2x. So here we see we have 2x minus 2x, which is equal to zero. Which means the integrand of that is equal to zero. So this can be equal to the double integral over the region enclosed by the path of delta q or the partial derivative of q with respect to x minus the partial derivative of p with respect to y times the d area. But as we discovered, that integrand is equal to zero. So this becomes equal to the double integral of the region of zero times dA. And of course, since we have a zero to begin with, that would be equal to zero. And so always keep in mind that that can very easily be done using Green's theorem. And if this integrand goes to zero, then of course there is no work done if this is a force and we're traversing around a complete closed path. And that's how it's done. 